Hi guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech. Today I'm going to show you a new flight controller. Actually, it's not new. It's because it's already on the market for several months. And this is the CUAV V5 Plus. Well, just to check the appearance, it's very beautiful. And uh, the V5 Plus uh, uh, is using the very high quality processor, so it's a very nice one. And uh, it's using the, pure, the good appearance, like see, it's using the CNC uh, aluminum a case uh, either for the IMU unit and also for the base base unit. So you can see the color arrangement for the poles for the IMU unit and also for the the, the base board. It's very beautiful. It's very nice, and uh, all the poles are very uh, neatly arranged. And uh, we can see some uh, PWM and uh, I I2C SBUS and CAM. Uh, ports right on it. Okay, also we uh, also have the new V2 GPS. It's uh, also a very nice one using the CAN protocol and it's a very high quality. Let me show this one later to you. Okay, so uh, actually uh, to give you a better understanding about how big it is, I have a uh, cube black here. So for uh, for for you to compare with them. So you can see the V5 Plus is a little, a little bit uh, shorter, and uh, they, uh, also the V5 Plus is a little bit higher, and also because it's using aluminum case, it's a little bit heavier. So some people may say, wow, they look so similar. Uh, are the V5 Plus, they say that it's the V5 Plus like a copycat of Cube. Uh, actually, it's not. The CUAV is also within the ecosystem of a PX4 and also within the Ardo Pilot, you can see on the website. So the CUAV is making the flight controllers for several years in China and they gain a great uh, reputation within China, but it's not so famous on the global market. But uh, you can buy it from us, <laughs> right? So. Uh, what's the benefit of using the V5 Plus? Actually, I found some uh, good points I want to share to you. Uh, the first, the V5 Plus is using the F765 series uh, processor. It's um, way faster than the Cube Black U. So, uh, namely, uh, your plane will act faster uh, if you use it on the drone. And also, uh, its uh, safety is much better. Uh, for the inner built-in IMU and the processor system, it also used the triple redundancy IMU. So, you, so we see triple redundancy IMU inside one compass and also a barometer unit inside. So, um, so it's also the quick detach uh, type of the IMU and the processor. So you can uh, use your screwdriver to remove it. Uh, the benefit of doing this is actually. Uh, Either it's a V7 and a V7 Pro, they all share the same baseboard, the base unit. So if you want to upgrade your flight controllers to the better version, you just simply swipe the unit of this silver unit. Another benefit of using the V5 Plus is actually it's using the industrial level uh, compass sensor inside. So it's a really good and uh, making your flight controllers much less vulnerable to the surrounding interference. Well, let's take a good look at the new V2 uh, GPS and the compass module. The inside is also the M8 and it's a very popular, recently the very popular uh, GPS model. So it's uh, fast, it's great, it uh, can be used on many kinds of uh, compass, but yeah, it's also inside. So. It's also using the CAN protocol. So um, you can directly link here using the CAN protocol. The benefit of using CAN is actually your cable and also the whole unit is uh, also uh, less vulnerable to the surrounding interference, so making the whole heading of your drone much accurate. So the one difference uh, from the cube black and also the V5 Plus is that the V5 Plus doesn't have the inner heating system. Uh, so you know on the Q-Black we have an uh, inner heating system and, uh, and it heats up the IMU uh, in case you want to uh, maintain the very good uh, status uh, 
under different kinds of uh, temperature. But uh, actually, uh, we tested on the V5 plus. Uh, it's actually very accurate. And also, without using the heating unit inside, we don't see the horizon line moving around due to the temperature change. So it's always very stable. OK, so uh, we also have a standing for the GPS, for the new V2 GPS. So the accessory looks nice. If you use a, a multi-rotor, you can directly place on the top of your multi-rotor. Simple. So uh, the accessories are also are very amazing for the V5 Plus. Well, see this. It is a 14S. A, say it is a current sensor and also the voltage sensor and the support up to 14S level. That's just up to 60 volts. And also the current, biggest current we can go through it is a 90 amp. And it's very nice, I like it. And here is the safety switch, but in case you use the uh, new V2 GPS, uh, we can forget about it. Okay, so this is something special. This is actually a Wi-Fi model. We can link it with our uh, V5 Plus. And uh, so your flight controller is now connected to your laptop, to your computer, without using the inconvenient USB cable. Okay, so the range is also good. The range is uh, 150 meters. And if you don't have a data link, and this can be your short range data link. And uh, also see what is also come in with the combo. OK, so this is the um, CAN or the I2C port. Um, uh, this is like a expansion board. So you can see we have uh, up to six ports here. So up to six equipment by using the I2C protocol or the CAN protocol. You can use them all with the same simple wire here. Here we have. Um, some other accessories like the SBUS cable and the other cables. Uh, so this, uh, namely everything, and uh, this one feels very tough and uh, very beautiful. It feels very cool. So, and the inner damping system inside of this IMU system by using foams, very soft foams, and making it very vulnerable to those uh, vibrations happening uh, if you, you are using a very high vibration drone. Then in case you want to use the V5 Plus on the very high uh, vibration drone, like a hybrid one, uh, you may want to add some foam enders to give it better damping during the vibration conditions. OK, so this is pretty much everything about the V5 Plus. And uh, after that, we will have the V7 and the V7 Pro, which are using the truly industry industrial kind of a sensor, which has made it very, very high quality and a very high stand. And that can, can give you a very safety flying experience and a very high performance at the same time. So the V5 Plus standard. And also there's a version of a V5 Nano version. Uh, can has the, it has the same sensors and also can uh, put, them, um, put it on a smaller drone to save space. OK, so the UC UAV V5 Plus, the new V2 GPS will be on our drones VTOLs soon. And I uh, hope you like them. And uh, they are quite reliable. And uh, this is Jack from Foxtag. And if you like all these things, you can find on our store, which is the foxtag at pv.com. And uh, you can also visit our website, and Facebook, YouTube. And uh, you, you may find a lot of interesting things there. And I uh, hope you love all of them. And uh, thank you for watching and see you next in next video.